hey everyone welcome back to my kitchen today we're going to be making some stewed conch stay tuned Hashtag, i'm a big deal <laughs> I'm a big deal, very, very, very important for Because I had this pack of conch in my freezer for the longest, you know, and I decided that I'm going to attempt to cook it. I've never cooked conch before, so yeah, you know, to be honest, if I didn't eat this stuff before and I know that it tastes really good, once I took it out of the freezer and it defrosted and I saw what it looked like, I was like, oh my God, but because I know, say, you know the thing nice and when it cook up and so so you know your girl do her research and she find out how to cook it now when you're cleaning your conch there is this like this thick membrane on the outside of it that you have to get rid of if not when me tell you say it tough and it's not chewable it's so you need to get rid of it so what i did i you know literally just kind of searched until i found that the you know this little thing and once you find it and you start to pull it it will just come right up it you know it take a little bit of work a little elbow grease so you know you have to put a little energy in it for yeah <laughs> to get it off but you know it kind of took me a minute but you know once i got it it was just pretty straightforward so you just want to go through and just make sure you clean it off take off this outside bit as you can see i'm trying to you know because i look in that little piece and little meat in there and you see so the conk not enough already so <laughs> <laughs> I had to literally just try it and rescue any little bit of meat that I could rescue. Now this was a 450 um, gram pack of conch, you know, and on a wall heap, so yeah, but you know, you just have to work with what you have to work with. Thank you so much for coming to my channel for my returning subscribers big up on yourself for all my new subscribers hey welcome my name is shells welcome to my kitchen and if you haven't yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure all your notification bells are on so you do not miss an upload from me So this was a little bit tricky to, to get off, you know, but just use your knife and try and just, you know, dig away the little odd bits and then what you can pull away with your fingers, just pull, out, pull it away with your fingers. As you can see, you know, it was, it, it's, it's a little bit of work, you see, <laughs> you know, it, it took a minute, it took a minute, but don't give up, just persevere. I mean, I know some people who's probably just used to this, but guys, this is the first time I am making cooking con finally got there that little tip on the end i'm just gonna cut it out i'm not gonna cut up my conch just yet i'm gonna um pressure it first because it's it's really tough and you kind of have to you know tenderize the thing so it tastes good like guys this is this is all the conch that i had it's not much but you know it's enough for what i wanted to do and as you can see this is all that i dispose of it to be honest guys it looked like me to cut off more of the conch than what actually left on it but you know what when i say nothing about that now what i'm gonna do is as i said i'm gonna pressure the conch so i'm just you know season up the little water for pressure the conch we don't just want to throw the conch in a just plain water no we want to start adding the flavor to it because you know say we say flavorful food so in a bowl in my pressure pressure pot i'm gonna add two cups of water i've gone in with some sliced onions some scotch bonnet pepper i'm gonna add a chicken bouillon cube but you know you can add a little um seasoning if you want even a little salt and pepper but you know we like extra 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 so we like for flavor extra 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 i'm going in with a little bit of thyme some pimenta and a couple of crushed cloves of garlic now i'm gonna let this pressure for a but once the pressure come up you know when the pressure cooker start that yeah that soon we're gonna leave after that point we're gonna leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes well i left it for that long but you know 
depends on the size of it now once the the, the conk is pressured what i'm gonna do is don't throw away the juice that you know that that broth that you just built i've put all the stuff that i cut off from it in the pot and just you know just to let that come to the boil for about five to ten minutes just to flavor that water a bit so all i'm doing now is just cutting up my conk now you know i cut it relatively so you just want little bite-sized pieces you don't want nothing too extra extra big and yeah now what i did with for the thicker part i kind of you know butterflied it and just cut it because then it just still make because it still need to cook a little bit more and yeah so it's just easier to eat now once my conch is cut up i'm gonna go ahead and season it so i'm gonna add about a teaspoon and a half of my maggie all-purpose seasoning i'm gonna go in at about a teaspoon of smoked paprika and i'm also gonna add about half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of garlic granules and also half a teaspoon of i'm using white white pepper but if you have black pepper, you can use black pepper. I'm going to use some white pepper. Now, we're just going to put that to the side for a minute. So, and then we're going to start frying this. So, now I'm using some, some coconut oil. And all I'm going to do is just start frying. So, I'm going to go in with um, some chopped onions, garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, and some scallion. And I'm also, once just saute that for about two, three minutes, I'm going to add half a can of my chopped tomatoes. I like using this because it's very saucy and just it's going to make this nice. Now, I also go in with a few sprigs of thyme. Just let this simmer for, you know, saute or simmer for about five minutes. Then I'm going to strain off the juice from the conch into the pan. Then once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and add my conch. now i love the flavor of tomato and coconut milk it's just mm, so i'm gonna add my coconut milk now i use just a tin of coconut milk in this and i'm just gonna cover it and just let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes Now, after this time, what you can do, you know, near to the ending of the time, you can just, you know, check your pot for flavoring. Mine was a little bit tangy, you know, from the tomato. So I've just added a little bit of honey, about a tablespoon of honey, you know, just to counteract the, 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 the sourness. The honey just lifts the flavor and just give it a really, really good flavor. And there you have it. Your stewed conch is finished. Now you know you know you have to put a little decoration on it. You know so the picture look pretty for the gram and the thing and the thing. You know, you know a bit over here. You know presentation is key, and we are all about presentation over here. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to give this video a big big thumbs up. Thank you so so much for watching. And as I always say to aim high, work hard but smart because the sky's the limit, and only you can limit yourself. Catch you in the next video, guys. Bye.